Oh, hey. You going for a walk? Wait up. We can go together. Yeah, this will be great. Let me just make sure I have my water and a hat. All right. I'm good to go. Do you think the weather will hold up? <laughs> That's right. It doesn't really matter. No excuses. The hardest part is taking that first step, don't you think? <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Well, nothing's going to stop us today. All right, so where are you taking me? Uh-huh. And this park is near your place? Over where? Ah, I can see the entrance right there. Maybe we should stretch out a little before we... Yeah, that looks perfect. I always like to stretch someplace with a tree or a fence that I can use for balance. This will do nicely. Me? Nah. I don't do anything too fancy when I stretch. Just, well, uh, want me to show you? Okay, now, I don't know about you, but I'd like to just stretch out my whole back first. Reaching up, ah, twisting left, and then right, leaning back. Ooh, that feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, I like to do those a few times. It's like my getting ready to stretch stretch. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, now how about some shoulder rolls? Um, yeah, you can use your whole arm. Whatever feels good, right? All right. Ready now for an easy one? Yep, you just bend over and touch the toes. Nice and easy, no bouncing. That's right, keep the knees loose. Maybe try to raise sitting muscles up towards the sky. <laughs> Stop. You know what I mean by sitting muscles. Hey, hey now, Missy. This is a safer work audio. We'll have none of that. Okay, two more to go. I'm gonna put a hand here on this fence so I don't just fall over by mistake. Right. So now, I like to bend my knee, grab my ankle behind me, and just pull up. Yeah. Keep your knee pointed straight down. And keep pulling your ankle up. Ooh, if I don't do these, I tend to feel it in my thighs the next day. All right. Turn around. Ready for the other ankle? Yeah. Take your time. There's no rush. Ah, okay. Last one. Let's use this curb here for this. It takes a little bit of coordination, but once I started doing these, I never got shin splints again. Ready? So I put my toes on the edge of the curb or on like a large tree root or whatever. And then I gently lower my heels until they are lower than my toes. So, yeah, exactly. No need for the heels to go all the way to the ground, just enough that I feel it behind my knees and in my calves. Nope, still no bouncing, but I like to raise up and lower down a few times, bend and straighten my knees a little while I do it. Yeah, how is it? Feel okay? Great. Hmm, I don't know. I suppose if there are other stretches we should have done, folks will tell us about them in the comments, right? So until then, let's just get going, yeah? Hmm? Oh, I totally hear you on that. I used to be self-conscious about stretching, right out in the open where everyone can see and judge. Like, my brain knows nobody really cares, but my paranoid anxiety has a hard time believing it. <laughs> See? You know what I mean. But, 
I knew I had to do it. So the first time, I completely forced myself to do it. And the second time, I almost skipped it because somebody else was stretching nearby, but, you know, I talked myself through it. Yeah, just like that. I leaned into the anxiety and pushed through to the other side of it. And believe it or not, the third time, it was no big deal at all. Now, stretching has become such a habit, I don't really even think about it. I just do it. This building we're passing kind of goes on for a bit. What's in there? Oh, like a whole pool complex? That's so great. Do you come to this park a lot? Yeah, I see why. Now that we passed the building, I feel like I went from city to forest in just a few steps. This paved path we're on. Does it go... Oh, it goes all the way around a pond. So if we walk all the way around, it's over a mile? Hmm. Now I see that footbridge over there in the distance. Ah, halfway point. Got it. Indeed it is. Just the right distance to get the blood flowing. Oh, hey, cute sneakers. Are they comfortable? Ah, that's awesome. Supportive footwear is important. Mine? Oh, thanks. They're my favorites. I bought them because, well... Okay, this is going to sound a little silly, but when I saw them in the store, they reminded me of a pair I had when I was a kid. Yep, I was absolutely convinced they made me run fast. <laughs> and who knows, maybe they did. Or maybe something about them just gave me extra confidence. Either way, when I saw almost the exact same sneakers in grown-up size, I, I had to have them. <laughs> Yes, they are. They're pretty fast. No running for me today, though. I'm looking forward to a nice, easy walk. I'll see the world around me and enjoy spending some time with you. Do a lot of people in your town use the park? Huh. Hmm. That's great. And that's what the markings in the pathway mean? Ah. Bike riders on that side, walkers and joggers on this side. Got it. Hmm. Sounds like we're getting closer to a playground. Where? Oh, I see now. It's tucked right in there in the shade of those tall oak trees. Me? Oh, I loved the swings and slides when I was a kid. But my favorite? Hanging upside down in the jungle gym. <laughs> How about you? You too? Mm-hmm. I know. So relaxing. Oh, wow. As we get farther away from the playground, it really opens up. This view is amazing. I can see the entire pond. Mm-hmm. And the breeze feels terrific. Ah, oh, me too. I'm glad you brought me along. Well, sure. I like getting to the gym sometimes for a workout or even exercising at home from time to time, but, you know, there's something about getting outside, breathing the same air as the trees around me. It's restorative. And besides, oh, my goodness. You see that? I'm not sure. I think it was. Oh, there's another one. A fish just jumped right out of the water. Right over there. Yeah, you can see it's a wake rippling out. 
Yeah, it sure was. It was at least as long as my forearm. Oh, we can? Are you sure it's okay to go down by the water? I, know, I just thought, I don't know. Maybe that we were supposed to stick to the path. <laughs> hey, wait up, Missy. Yeah. I like being down here closer to the pond. There's an earthy smell. Really, it's like nothing else. Um, why is that rock moving? I am looking closely. That rock is swimming. That... That... Oh, that turtle is swimming. Ah, oh, look. There are more of them over there. Yep, right there in the sun on that flat rock. Oh, are we heading back up to the path? Oh, yeah. Best to give those Canadian geese a wide berth. They can be vicious. I once heard that many Canadians call them cobra chickens. They'll attack anything that gets in their way. Yep, that bad. So what other birds do you see when you spend time here? Really? I'd love to see some swans. They're so majestic. I don't know, it's like seeing something that stepped right out of a fairy tale. <laughs> don't laugh. They really are. Okay, okay. Any other birds I should keep an eye out for? No, where? All the way up? Wait, hang on. Can I borrow your shades? Oh yeah, I see it now. It's just circling the whole park up there, isn't it? I can't tell from here if it's a hawk or a falcon. Oh yeah? We've seen both around here. Huh, I wonder if we'll get to see it do some hunting today. Oh, right here. Take those back. All right. Now that we're back on the path, looks like we have a choice to make. I vote for following the fork to the left. I'd like to go up in the footbridge and have a look around. You too? Oh, then off we go. Oh, right. Good idea. Gotta stay hydrated. So, now I'm wondering, if we had taken the right fork, what's down that way? Oh, and the stream that feeds the pond winds down from there? Well, what I can see of it from here is so pretty. And the path keeps going? Mm hmm. Hey, what do you think those people are doing down there? Oh, over there, near those weeping willow trees. Oh, right, yeah. That must be a really popular spot to take photos. Hey! Yeah, hi. Would you like some help? Uh, sure thing, no problem at all. Uh, this button here? Got it. Okay. Everybody scooch in closer together. Abuela, can you get in a little closer? Good. Now say queso. <laughs> Good job, that's a keeper. Mm, de nada, my pleasure. You too. Have a great day. <laughs> oh, what a nice family. All right. So if this is the halfway point, there's still a lot more park for me to see. Shall we? <sighs> oh, nothing. I just sort of... I guess I miss walking off the pavement. <laughs> the uneven feel under my feet and the gravelly sound. I was enjoying the whole 
sensory experience, you know? Exactly. I like the soft sound of walking on snow. You too? Hey, wait. I have an idea. Well, I'm just thinking. Hey, Cass? Yeah, hey. Do you mind helping her and I out a little here? Ooh, nice. Thanks. So, do you ever walk here in the winter? Really? Holiday lights? Like all over the park? That's so nice. Aw, like a real winter wonderland. Do a lot of the neighbors come out for that? Mmm. Hot cocoa. Fire barrels. And sing-alongs? Oh. I may have to visit this park again around the holidays. <laughs> right. I won't forget my parka. No, I don't know what you're thinking. Oh, I love that idea. Sure, you can ask Kess this time. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, girl. Crunchy leaves are the best leaves. I think you're onto something there. There's something about the sound and the feel. It encourages the mind to loosen up and just live in the rhythm for a while. Well, sure. I mean, physical health and mental health go together like peanut butter and jelly, don't they? Oh, hey, thanks. You too. Have a great day. <laughs> they said they like my sneakers. Isn't that nice? Okay, so I see the tennis court. And those kids over there came into the basketball, so I guess there's a basketball court too? But those old guys over there, what are they doing? Right over there, past the gazebo. Looks like they're sort of... Is that bowling? But I don't think... Ba ba bocce? Bocce ball? No, nope, I've never heard of it. How do you play? And have you ever seen younger people playing bocce? <laughs> well, it's nice to see the park isn't just for the kids. What else do older folks like to do here? Hmm. And do they do Tai Chi right here in the gazebo? Yoga too. Ah. Sounds like you have a really diverse community here. Yes, you are. You're very lucky. Some folks spend a fortune on plane tickets to travel the world. You only have to stroll over to the park to experience people from so many different places. And I'll bet the restaurants in your town reflect that too. Mm-hmm. You are very lucky indeed. <laughs> Not really. I was just thinking how glad I am that I came on this walk with you. I'm enjoying the sights. It feels terrific to stretch my legs like this. And darn if I don't smell honeysuckle. <laughs> it is. It's a great way to spend an audio. In fact, I hope more listeners take me on a walk around their parks or towns or whatever. This has been a lovely way to spend the time and I can't wait to do it again. Oh, are we getting closer to a skate park area? There. I see it now. Do you see anyone over there? No. Me neither. Wait. Oh, hold on. I see something rolling down on the half pipe. Oh, the smaller one. What? Why would there be a Tonka truck? Oh, 
look. Those little kids are playing trucks on all the hills. Well, sure. I mean, after the skateboarders head out, why not, right? Ah. Oh. Hope they have as nice of a time as I did today. I really appreciate you showing me around. Nah, I really need to get going now. The thumbnail for this audio isn't going to make itself. Yeah, I better get to it. Are you going to go around again? Okay, well, I don't know, maybe Kess has some traveling music for you, if you do decide to go another lap. Remember, drink your water. All right, then. See you later, bye.